Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, we still have two college visits scheduled this month. Pick up your pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here's the deeds. Today, after the PSAT, the reps from Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Commons. And then, next week, on the 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University close out our scheduled April visits. Remember, you can check out all the important college information in person at the Counseling Center or check their website online. Juniors, congratulations on completing the SAT. Go ahead and take the mental break for the rest of the week. Kidding. Sophomores, you are up to bat today with the PSAT. PSAT 10 with freshmen on deck. You'll take your PSAT 9 on Thursday. Good luck to everyone. Be sure to check the lists posted in the halls to find out where you are seated. All exams will be in Bowers Gym unless you have been instructed otherwise. Glads, remember to get a good night's rest this week, eat something the morning of your test, and leave your cell phones in your locker or backpacks and make sure they are off. Juniors and seniors, here's your prom update. Prom 2019 around the world will be on Saturday, April 20th at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Outside Guest forms are due this Friday and tickets are on sale now in the business office for $50 until April 16th. Because this is prom, you cannot buy tickets at the door, and yes, your ticket price does include dinner. Prom nominations are underway today. Check in at the tables on the blue tiles to nominate your favorite junior and senior. Voting will take place next week with royalty announced at the dance. Since prom is approaching, here's the schedule for next week's spirit days so you can get your outfits ready. Monday is hiker day. Wear all your hiking gear. Tuesday is hippie day dress like it's the 70s wednesday is nike versus adidas day wear all your nike or adidas gear thursday is dress to impress wear your nicest outfit and finally friday is class color day wear your class colors in order to win some charlie cup points for all spirit days hats are allowed as long as they fit the theme when we return we'll have some information on national donate life month but first we're throwing it to the sports desk for our gladiator sports update with isaac fleet go sports time It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Glads, Student Cabinet will be hosting a tailgate at 4 p.m., followed by the Powder Puff game at 5 p.m. at CA Foster Stadium. Miss Melton has the details, so check in with her. In Mr. Nell's words, our ultimate Frisbee team finally won some games over the weekend. They beat TCA 15 to 4 and Coronado 15 to 8, and now boast an overall record of 4 and 4. Way to go, ultimate Frisbee team. Whoosh! If you would like to check out the team and the sport, check in with Mr. Nell in room 116 for their schedule. Hey, forensics team members, your end of the year banquet is tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the WHS cafeteria. Mrs. Owen and Mr. Elhofer have more details on that event, so check in with them. Cheerleading tryouts started Monday and continue until Friday, April 12th. Tryouts are being held in the small gym from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Applications are available in the main office. In tennis news, the ladies are on their home court this afternoon against the Colorado Springs School at 345 and then on Friday and Saturday you can catch the ladies at Memorial Park for a tournament. The boys swim and dive team jumps into home waters this afternoon against Pueblo Central at 4 p.m. The boys have been improving their times and are racking up their personal records. We'll have scores for you on Friday. In baseball news, the fellas met up with the purple school last night and got off the struggle bus with a win. Whoosh. Catch the boys on Big Blue tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. when they host the Sierra Stallions. On Saturday, the team is on the road to Discovery Canyon Campus for a game at 10 a.m. If you're up in that neck of the woods, stop in to cheer our glads. In soccer news, the ladies traveled to Woodland Park but could not close the deal against the Panthers and added another loss to their record. Heads up, ladies. You'll kick it in soon. Our lady glads will be in action at Florence on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. The weather may be a little sketchy, but they would appreciate your support. Because of the testing schedule, we are 
we're bumping our segment for Damon's Dose of Health until next Friday. Catch Mr. Damon then when he'll inform us about how tech time impacts our lives. In track and field news, the Mitchell Invite starts at 11 a.m. this Friday, so our glads will be out of class early. We'll have results for you on Monday. And finally, if you are interested in playing football next year or just want to meet the new coach, join Coach Zimmerman for a pizza lunch and presentation on April 12th in Bowers Gym. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. We'll be back on Friday with the scores and results. I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the news desk with Kieran and Ethan. Thanks for that update, Isaac. Glads, if you've dropped the ball on your classes, registration for summer credit recovery classes has begun and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and goes until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Glads, April is National Donate Life Month and the Red Cross Club wanted us to know how easy and helpful it is to donate our organs and save lives. Here's some quick facts. Signing up as a donor means you have decided to donate Donate your organs, eyes, and tissues at the time of your death. Anyone can sign up regardless of age or health. Before signing up, have a conversation with your family so they know your wishes. When you get your driver's license or state ID, say yes to organ donation and get that little red heart on your ID. Remember, one organ and tissue donor can save up to eight lives. For more information or to sign up to be an organ donor, check out this website. And speaking of saving lives, here's Miss Betsy to tell us what wonderful meals she is preparing for us today and tomorrow. Take it away. Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I got my friend with me. Today we're having chicken pot pie, and tomorrow we're having grilled cheese. Hope to see you then. Thanks, and have a great day. Happy testing. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads. Remember to add money to your lunch account in person or online so you can stay off conditions. Check Infinite Campus to see if you are on conditions and get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors, if you want to wait until the last minute to clear your conditions, the line will be super long and you cannot leave campus until this is done. Speaking of seniors, Senior Council will have a hot day this Friday, April 12th. And get this, each wristband you purchase will enter your name in a raffle for a gift card to Hell's Kitchen. That could totally be worth a buck. Get your wristbands after school Thursday and before school Friday. Glads, we have two art shows to tell you about. The first is our district art show on April 20th at French Elementary from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. If you'd prefer to check out the work our peers have created, then swing by the second art show at the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard for the high school showcase. The opening reception for the high school showcase is on May 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., but you can catch the show from April 23rd through May 3rd. Both shows are free and open to the public. Our PLTW engineering students will be showcasing their senior projects and activities on April 25th at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Cabaret Night is also scheduled for the 25th in the WHS Cafeteria. The show starts at 6 p.m. and the cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults. Refreshments will be available for a small cost, so bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. The district-wide Day Without Hate will also be celebrated on April 25th. Remember to wear white to show our support for for this year's theme. Do what is right, not what is easy. This is a class competition, so get your white on for Charlie Cup points. Stay tuned for more information on how to get your event wristbands, and then check out the posters around campus celebrating this event. Ladies, the dress sale at the Trinity Missionary Baptist Church is this Saturday. Dresses will be available for a $20 cash donation at the church on 617 East Fountain Boulevard from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And finally, pick up and fill out your reverse power card celebrating our amazing teachers in the attendance office, library, or counseling center. Drop them in the box and we'll do the rest. Thanks for tuning in today and have a great Wednesday. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon. And this was your KWHS News. Good luck to all sophomores and freshmen on the PSAT.